Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I went to, well, let me back up. I didn't just go to, I volunteered for a book sale. Um, it was hosted by the Houston County um, Friends of the Library, and that's a couple counties away from me, and it's always been such a great book sale. I mean, all kinds of stuff there. So... This time, they had put out a feeler on Facebook for some volunteers. Well, let me tell you, I had no clue what I was getting myself into. I never really thought about the weight of the books and the books in boxes and how much they would weigh and everything that was involved. So I'm going to make this a quick video, um, however... Let me sit down here on the floor while I tell you my quick little story. Um, the books came in on pallets, and they were in boxes that were like whiskey boxes. So they weren't so, so huge. And then some of them were also in like boxes that reams of paper come in. And um, so they weren't really so terrible bad. But at the same time, it says he's here with me. There she is. There her is. Um, but they were enough to handle. So then we had gotten the prisoners from the local jail, thank heavens, and they unloaded them from the pallets and they brought them to tables that were numbered. And um, excuse me, that's her. She's trying to jump on me. Um, and... So I had cookbooks, I had garden books, which I was looking for Edith Holden, of course. I had more cookbooks, I had Western, I had inspirational fiction, and then I ended up, um, a fella didn't come back the next day, so I ended up with the how-tos and hobbies. Um, but what I want you to think about is the weight of cookbooks and gardening books. We all know that there are some big ones. So you get them and you put them up on the table and what they want, let me see if I can show you here, they want them to be where it's spine up. So when you're going down the table, you can kind of read, you know, all the books and flip through them that way. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. But what happens is some are like this that don't want to necessarily stand then you've got your hardbacks all mixed in. Oh, what a what a mess. But we did it. But then the ones that don't fit on the table, you have to open the remaining boxes, fold the flaps in, and then put the books back in the boxes again. So the spine is up. Then you put them under the table so then people can still see down below what's not on the table on the top. <clears throat> so it's a lot. It is a lot. So you're up and down. The first day, you're pretty much filling the tables. The next day, you're going through the boxes underneath and getting them ready. So it's two days of prep. And I'm talking, I hurt when I got finished that second day. Well, now the third day is the beginning of the book sale. <clears throat> so you're constantly walking on that concrete floor, filling in, you know, when people pull out books, you're constantly tightening up the books and moving them from the bottom to the table on top. Um, the goal is, of course, to get all the books gone, but you definitely want to get them off the floor. I would say, so that was Thursday was the first day of the book sale. The second day of the book sale, I would say by the end of the day, Friday and then Saturday morning, we had the majority of the books off the floor. Excuse me. <coughs> so... We did pretty good, and then the last day, when it's all over with, um, Goodwill brings these great, big, huge boxes that are on pallets, and I think they call them Gaylords, and we toss, literally toss, all the remaining books in those boxes, and off they go. So all of the work for five days is over in about two hours when it's all said and done. So I just want to tell you all of that because the next time you go to something like these large book sales, 
please be respectful and appreciative of all the work that goes in it. I never considered it. Um, books are heavy. Books are cumbersome. Granted, they're fun. We love them. But there's a lot to it. So, um, anyhow, I got some, um, like this is a music book. This is some old dictionaries that are nice and big, as you can see some others. And then I, I lucked out. These are a little bit older, but these are um, like The Apprentice, The Gallery, um, Where Women Create, all kinds of um, Somerset Studio. Where's my camera here? Somerset Studio magazines. I guess there's give or take 20 there. And then I got some kids' books and... Let me see here. Let me find it in my pile. Here, this is one of my favorite books that I got. And it's How to Cut Your Own or Someone Else's Hair. I would like it because it's landscape. And look at that. I think that would be adorable in a journal. And the edges are already um, getting colored from age. And then there's one other book that... Oh, this one was pretty cute too. My Recipes are for the Birds. But it's just one-sided, so I thought they would be cute tucked in pockets. And um, I've been wanting to Bible journal, so I got some Bibles to practice in. And where is, there is a book here. I'm not going to be able to put my hands on it now, of course, because I want to. Um, where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? I got some little, look at that little bitty golden book. Um, I'm not going to be able to find that one now. Darn it. Anyway, it was about, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got it, got it, got it, got it. Disco Basics. I thought it was too funny. So I'm hoping it's in signature form. And won't they be so cute in a journal? I figured the pages are probably a little bit bigger. But, um, I can trim them down. I have some room. But anyhow, if you see, oh, 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 one more thing. Here we go. Some crocheting books, and they're really old. This one is December 1959, and again, I thought it has a lot of ads and stuff in it. thought that would be super cool. So if you do see a book sale, um, please support them. They, libraries, you know, it's getting tough for them, and um, we still do need them. They are still great. Um resource for us and um they need our help though so with that being said remember i do my best to put up a video every tuesday evening at 6 p.m eastern time i'm also um i've got a facebook page a facebook group my own personal facebook i'm on instagram i'm on twitter um i have a pinterest if you want to come and see what i like and i also have a small etsy shop and with that being said, I'm going to sign off here and me and sis are going to go to the house because I'm in my studio, of course, and we're going to upload this video and um, I will catch you on the flip side. Please be warm, behave, and I'll see you down the road. Bye.